Unit 6, only about 10 or so percent of the AP exam. Also pretty recent in your mind's eye, if that's a thing, so that's good. It's all about trade and international finance, so that's pretty fun. Uh, we're going to start actually with this. I went the wrong direction. 4x. I taught you both graphs so that your life would be a little bit less stressful. And the question is usually going to be about, you know, what's happening to the currency in a specific country given a fact pattern. And you're going to have to say either the currency appreciates or depreciates. And you're going to know this by thinking about the 4x graph itself, which has the currencies foreign over domestic on the vertical axis, and then the quantity of that currency. So if this is Japan, the quantity of Japanese yen on the horizontal axis classic supply and demand graph for the forex market so think of this as a place where you literally just supply cash and demand cash from the other place a marketplace for cash alone in this scenario my fact pattern is the recession is worse in the u.s which is possibly going to happen so what happens to the value of japanese currency this is a great learning moment in this scenario because americans cannot afford japanese yen if it's actually in fact worse here which hopefully it's not obviously uh, then the demand for japanese yen would decline because we would not be able to afford japanese yen on the forex market and remember the only rule here is if you're shifting one line a direction on a graph you go to the other country and you shift the other line the same direction so because demand is going left supply goes left and that's because we're no longer supplying the u.s dollars necessary to buy the japanese yen so less supply less demand there are only four shaft, uh, wow, four shifters in forex, taste, income, price level, and interest rates. Uh, for the most part, they're fairly self-explanatory. If you want something, then there's more taste for it, more demand. With income and price level, just remember that the demand goes downhill and that rich people can afford uh, less expensive countries, but less expensive countries, recession countries, cannot afford the more expensive countries. That's kind of the same logic. And then finally, with interest rates, this is a quirk and a feature of Forex. This is one of the only times we like high interest rates. And that's because foreign investors will send their money to the place with the highest interest rates so that they can buy a bond there and hopefully get a yield, not only on the bond return, but on the appreciation in that country as well. So it's a double win. Over here we have balance of payments, which is the last thing in all of macroeconomics. And it's just this idea that effectively the current account and the capital account are the sum total of all cash that's kind of coming and going into the U.S. economy when it's open, meaning we trade with other countries. So the current account is physical objects or net exports, and the capital account, sometimes called the financial account, it refers to literally just financial investments, uh, buying cash, or excuse me, buying bonds with cash, this is about money, this is about objects. Over here in the current account, uh, if you have a surplus, that means you have more exports than imports. The United States is often running a deficit here, meaning we often have more imports than exports. So in GDP, this section of our GDP expenditure equation is usually running negative. Over here in the financial account, we have inflow and outflow. This means if you have cash coming in, this would be like appreciation on the Forex graph. If demand was rising in Japan, that would be inflow. Outflow means money's going out of that country. And the, the one thing you need to be aware of is usually they're opposite. So for example, if you have cash coming in, you're gonna run a deficit also in the current account. If you have inflow, deficit, outflow, surplus. Hope you guys have a majestic spring break and uh, hasta pasta? Bye-bye.